away now. Stay away from the cages. Careful if you're heading down below. You ever hear of Cyclops? Old boss of the bazaar. Some say he's back for blood. Ooh, you know what I want? Ooh, we should. Doctor Cold Cut can cure what ails ya. The Warrens were excavated from decades of snow. Ah, esteemed guests, we still need your help. To cleanse the warrants of our payaso pests. You lightens the heart. You've done us all a great service. All our stores are open to you at a discount. And here, take this as a token of my thanks. Be bizarre. Be Looks expensive. I can kick some serious ass here. with these. I love those boots. Get your these are perfect. Gear here. Too expensive. Wonder if I can talk him down. Serious ass with these. Oh, real bison hide. Looks expensive. Get Too expensive. Your expensive. Those so the beasties in the warrant was a bunch of clowns. Huh, kind of depends on that's why I'm here. I love those boots. Where'd you get them? These are Hello. Welcome to Talbot's. That's why I'm here.
love those boots. Where'd you get them? These old things? I got them for a Go steal at Tablet's Tannery. Ooh, oh, you look shit. hurt. Uh, Dr. Cold cut the these are These are pistols. Oh, I've Divine always wanted blood. one of these. Word spreads that your actions saved the bazaar. Or at least brought us some me help. Hmm. I suppose there is an order I need assistance with. Yeah, I can use your help. There is a weapon on the bench just waiting to provide its blessing to the needy. <laughs> Safe. You will never feel the blessing of being truly one with your craft if you are concerned with such things. <laughs> Safe. Ha! The pain does not last. And the scars? Those are blessings. They are a record of your dedication, proof you are strong enough to rise above the fears of the flesh, a reward that fits your efforts. Keep the weapon with my blessings. Certainly. Hot noodles! Thank you for your help! I see you have been sanctified by Piscitelli. 
Hope it didn't hurt too much. Nothing a good bowl of noodles won't put right. Yes, yes! My friend, you don't know what this means to me. You have altered the course of human gastronomical history. Here, a small measure of my gratitude. Ah, and of course, as we discussed, I'll be happy to join you at your HQ now. Let me pack up my supplies and I'll see you there. See you at Ranger HQ. Howdy, man. Howdy. Always good to see a Wesson. I see. Not my usual line of business, but I don't see why not. My normal rates would apply for a one-way transport. Just my services as a caravan master. I organize caravans to get people, goods, and livestock from one place to another. But I don't sell goods myself. These lands near Colorado Springs are pretty safe. But still lots of people need help getting around. Especially if you want to range further than that. I suppose you have a point there. Peridolia Jones, friend to the people. All right, I'll make sure they're part of my next caravan run to Colorado Springs. I'll send people to check up on them now. So long. All right, Bucky. <laughs> I'll tell you into hot noodles. Guns sanctified. Blood sanctified by guns.
Copy, November 1. Toes on the way. What do you want from Mama Carter? Maybe so. Where are those refugees now? <laughs> Law keepers with a conscience? Well, shit. I wouldn't have guessed it. <laughs> I owe you for keeping those refugees safe. Ain't nobody else around here who's willing to lift a finger for them. So, uh, what's it gonna be, hmm? You know I was breaking the city's law, conspiring with smugglers and all that. You gonna haul me in? She'll be safe in the Ranger lockup. Reyes would want her in jail. He's a powerful man to have as a friend. And the Rangers could use some powerful friends. Well, am I under arrest? Oh, no, you ain't. You'll have to go through us first. Stand down, Bobby. These are the same folks who shot up the door season the Garden of the Gods. They must have killed Stenerud and his smugglers, too. We don't stand a chance against them. This ain't worth the lives of my boys. I'll go quietly. Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. What's your status? Old Mama Carter, a criminal. Who would have... Hold up! The Marshals? We thought you were taking her to your fancy pants base! The Marshals will put Mama in the stocks and freeze her to death! No way we're letting that happen! Get them! Spotted. What do you want from Mama Carter? Maybe so. Shit. <laughs> I owe you for keeping. So, uh. She'll be sick. Well, am I under arrest? Oh. Stand down, Bob. This ain't with the lives of my boys. Copy, November 1. Old Mama Carter. Criminal? <laughs> Who would have thought? Dispatching a squad over and out. Rangers, check me out. Thanks so much for ensuring we got this shipment of power armor. I used to bruise my knuckles beating folks into line. No longer. It's like the suit punches for me. Calibration was a bit off at first, though. You should have seen this one guy's head pop. Kaplow! Anyway, these refugee vermin aren't going to punch themselves. Thanks again, Rangers. 
was talking to Diligent Jody of... Yeah, for the wards or the Reyeses to buy up and turn into playpens. Seriously. Hey, uh, did you ask your wife about your... Hey, chums! Welcome to Taiwan Jones's Emporium! My store has every fin your looks are deanly. Hey, chums! Welcome to... Ah, you want to hear about Sardine Lee?
I'll join the marshals. I do like roughing people up. I'm sure they could use me. Did Rangers seal a deal with the Vegas mob? Brygo says no comment. Who are you people? Mercenaries? I heard Mr. Howe found himself a pretty blonde thing. The Dorseys twist our faith to justify their evil ways. I heard you were speaking to some people at the refugee camp. Do you have any news? Thank you. I'm glad this ended bloodlessly. You handled an impossible situation well, Rangers. At least this will give the city some breathing room. Our resources are stretched, but... I think we can feed the people who are already here. For now. As am I. Now for your reward. The money is here. And you may expect the mechanics I promised you to be waiting for you when you return to your headquarters. Also, one other thing. If you have me, I'd be happy to serve the Rangers as a political advisor. Honored even. You're quite a remarkable outfit, and I'd like to help you out. Excellent. Let me get some things together, then I'll head for your HQ. Looking forward to what we can accomplish together, Rangers. Breaker 1-9, this here's Dead Red calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal, Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Ha! Huh. Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when Command sent us out here to reconnoiter, but well, things took an unexpected turn. <sighs> I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you, because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. 
Why do you think? We want you on our side. But not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. I don't reckon he would, no. But then he wouldn't approve of you talking to me, either. Do what you gotta do. But you'll just make life miserable for the both of us. Command will send you after us, and so will the Patriarch. And that would just end up with you dying. And that would make me sad. Please, just talk to Cordite before you make a decision. That's all I'm asking. Please. Dead red, over and out. Team November, this is Ranger HQ. A couple vehicles rolled up and set up right outside our base. Real shady characters. Their leader is a woman named La Perla, who claims to have business with the Rangers, but won't specify what it is to us. Ring any bells? Figured. We'll keep them outside the base for you to deal with in good time. Over and out.